physical exercises. Me. We're Black Rabbit and you're watching Don't Forget to Rock. Hey everyone, this is Jen from Don't Forget to Rock. Very excited to be here with the awesome Black Rabbit. Hey, Hello what's guys. Up? Hey, what's up? Thanks for joining me. Thank you. For Welcome us. to Boston. Thanks. And I know we were talking earlier about your trip to the thrift shop. Yes. Do you want to show off your new, new sweaters? We got some Yeah. We got some new jackets, you know, and some um new shirts and we all look Patrick like got this necklace right here. Yeah, I got this looking necklace good. and um, looking I got I got a few more stuff like right before this interview too. Actually, oh, I got this jacket. This yeah, it turns brown. Yeah, <laughs> it's brownish. I guess it has like a bunch of different colors and stuff, mm -hmm. and it's really cool. It's a really cool look, and um, I got this um, wow. this other thing. Oh, <laughs> I got this yeah. um. The shirt, yes, this shirt is so nice. It's like, I don't know where it's from, but I got the shirt. Yeah, oh, I really like it. Is yeah. it to fit the vibe for the show, or is yeah. it just you know for everyday wear? It it fits our it fits the vibe for our um, lives, you know. We, <laughs> Your lives. We're like we're like you know, like you know. Just out, out there, people, you know. Wow. And just I like out there people. <laughs> yeah. And we we love patterns and vintage looking clothes and and stuff that looks like DNAs and stuff. The DNAs. Yeah. Like DNAs. DNA. Yeah. Like DNA threads. Yeah, like DNA threads and flowers and, and yeah, okay. yeah, and cool. stuff. And what about you? What'd you get? Oh, I didn't get anything. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I look like I just got it. Well, you have a collection of wristbands there. Are those from your show? Oh, well. Past shows? Oh, yeah. A couple of these are from the tour that we just got off like two weeks ago. This was from yesterday. <laughs> You've been wearing those for two weeks? Yeah, I've, I've, I, just, I like to wear them out, you know? Just, well, can you talk a little bit about the tour? Any exciting things happening there? How are you guys enjoying it so far? Oh, we love, we love it. We, um... I wish I could honestly extend it, like just keep going. But um, yeah, we did like this uh, East Coast like slash Midwest um, tour. Started in Rhode Island and went up to Canada, back down to um, Georgia, and back up the states. And then we finished off at Bowery Ballroom um, in New York. So it's it cool was really, it was really cool. Like the first time for most of us in these cities, I don't get out much. Touring is a good excuse to get out there. Did you enjoy the South? I went down there for the first time recently and I find the people there are so friendly and yeah. sunny yeah. and warm. And the food. The yeah, Southern so food is amazing. So good. Barbecue. Oh, yeah. We went, to Nash we went to Nashville and had these wings. They were so <laughs> hot. No. Um, like, they, they had like, I don't know, it was just so like, hot but really good it was really addictive like, yes really spicy and a little too spicy yeah, yeah. Far, far <laughs> like it. i mean i was i was good because you know i'm prone to that stuff and, really yeah. but everyone else they they couldn't take it but yeah patrick's a good. man of the group right? yeah <laughs> <laughs> i got the i got the worst of the worst and you know i'm not trying to brag or anything, but I didn't need any water. Just saying. Wow. wow. <laughs> That's pretty good. Start a competition now. People are gonna person. see who can eat the hottest food against you and yeah, exactly. not need water. <laughs> Milk I hear is a better actually better to like yeah, soothe the spice. But yeah. Yeah, definitely. Anyways. Wow. Yeah. That's true. I had Sri Lankan food for the first time recently, and Ooh, I've never had this. <laughs> What'd you get? Um, it's called a chicken biryani, which I guess is a kind of a staple for Indian food. But mm. 
I couldn't handle it. I accidentally ate a, one of the um, jalapeno peppers, thinking oh. it was <laughs> like a green bean or something. Oh, whoops. <laughs> that was a mistake. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, I want to so. start talking about your music. Um, are you guys recording a full length album? Full length album? Yeah. Yeah, we're actually in the midst. We just stayed up until like one o'clock um, two days ago, like recording a single that's going to go on the album. It's like the first song we're going to put out. Um, and uh, the so this album is going to be like 12 or 13 tracks. So nice. that's way longer than we're like used to putting out. It's going to be cool. It'll be fun. It's called Interstellar. I like that name. <laughs> Look it up when it comes <laughs> out. Yeah. It's going to be one of the best. It's going to be one of the best psychedelic <laughs> albums ever made. <laughs> that's a very big claim. That's, that's a very a big claim. Me. Hey, we'll you, you heard it here first. <laughs> yeah. Josh, do you want to expand a little bit about what we can expect from the sound? Um, or? I mean, I, I really don't. You don't talk? <laughs> <laughs> Josh is the quiet guy. Uh, yeah, I'm the quiet guy. <laughs> um, Come on, Josh. Tell, tell us. Josh. <laughs> it's going to be great. I don't know. I mean, these the guys really work on the music. It's it's mainly like the twins. Okay. So I'm a more you guys I play are with them, you know, with the band, like band, like we're live and stuff like that. But like, I like you know, I fill in and like do what I gotta do on stage and like you know have my part in it. But yeah, we'll see what happens. All right, well, so you kind of just do what they tell you to do. <laughs> yeah, not like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you do this. Right? <laughs> yeah, but yes. we're not like. No, he yeah. adds. To it. Yeah, he exactly. adds. His Flavor. Yeah, we flavor. all, yeah. Yeah, you guys got the We all flavor. have like our beginnings. Like even Patrick, you know, like on the record it's real like smooth. Patrick's on some of the tracks on the record, but like mostly it's like real like, uh, kind of shut down a little, I guess, so you could say, something like that. Yeah, smooth. But live, we like kind of like push for like that extreme sound. And yeah, so I'm just like facing this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's awesome. Oh. Uh -oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. We're really good at this. Expect. <laughs> We're really Ex great at this. Well, Expect. Um, <laughs> I don't know. For this for this album, you know, they've been. We, we've be. been using a lot of you know. Um, a lot of different different elements we haven't really touched on the EP, or they haven't really touched on the EP, and it's I don't know. For this sound, it sounds way like I guess bigger and like this album sounds bigger and and just like kind of different yeah, way more than, quality than mm -hmm. from what we like made before like in the past I mean a lot of these songs they had since they were in high school but um you know it's I don't know it's, it's just bigger and better I'm um, bigger and oh. yeah better I wanted to say <laughs> but yeah the first, first our first EP we recorded like mainly at Patrick's house, the drums. Mm -hmm. So it was, and we were working with like lower quality equipment and stuff. So yeah, this now album is going to be studio. the first time where we're actually releasing like, yeah, professionally mixed, mastered music. And a lot of keyboards and stuff. Yeah, and more, yeah, not just guitars all the time. Yeah. yeah. That's really cool. Um, listening to your music, it kind of evokes um, Kind of like an, I don't know how to describe it, but like an out of body experience feeling. <laughs> um, when you approach music, um, what is your process to it? How do you approach it, and do you go in there with a sp specific feeling that you want to evoke for people, for the listener? A lot of LSD. Yeah, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of LSD. Is that controversial to say now? No. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. We're, we're past, we're past the 60s. So we're going to yeah. say. We're going to talk about drugs on the internet. Because the Beatles had Kids, like, don't do drugs. You know, defend themselves. Um, I think that usually the, the feeling is what we start out kind of like mapping out first before anything else. And uh, yeah, the emotions people feel like during the song and like how that like like how to bring it out of people like I'm starting to understand that like a little more mm -hmm. like on the EP I don't think I really like thought about it that much but like this time around I'm thinking about it a lot I think the album's quality is going to be a lot better because of that or 
Yeah. Here for sure, yeah. So. Oh yeah, no, every everything is just like it's it's gonna be a little bit more like I think um, the songwriting is a little bit more like just thought out and because everything on the first EP was very like just stream of consciousness kind of like just doing it sort of that um, this album was like more like okay what part I'm gonna make a bridge here I'm gonna write a bridge here I'm gonna write mm. a chorus yeah just more thought out yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like I feel like um, since this album they've definitely like grown as musicians and everyone would hear it on this album people would hear that on this album their like growth and you know yeah, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a good point. <laughs> you know, I mean, you want to grow from album one to album two. Yeah. So, uh, is there anything else that you want to announce oh, to listeners yes, or fans? Uh, yeah, actually, um, this year we're playing um, Afropunk. Um, uh, August, which one? 26th. The 26th 26. and the 27th. We're doing an acoustic, uh, 25th and you know, 26th. oh, 25th and 26th. Yeah, we're doing the busking thing on the 25th and then the Oh yeah, we're doing the busking stripped down version, acoustic version of our set. And then uh, the next day we'll be playing on a, on a stage, not sure which one yet, but yeah, at two o'clock, Afro Punk. We'll be there. Black <laughs> Rabbit. If you got, unfortunately it's sold out, but if you have tickets, Make sure to come and check us out. Or oh, stand by the, the gate. <laughs> yeah, stand by the gate, we'll come say hi. <laughs> That's very cool. Well, thank you very much, guys, for joining me no in this chat. Thanks for having us. I'm yeah. very excited to catch your show. I'm sure it's going to be a lot of energy. and should be fun. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it should be cool. This yeah. is yeah. Black yeah. Rabbit. Yeah. Signing off. <laughs> <laughs>